sitting at the, uh, the drive-thru. It's Starbucks. And uh, I don't care. I don't care what people say about me. Calling me basic. Well, they're calling me basic because I want some pumpkin spice latte in my belly. I even got the pumpkin cream cheese muffin. I'm going all out, Will. I'm going all out. Because it's fall, baby. It's not really fall. It's still late summer. But you know what? I freaking love the taste of it. So you could call me basic. But I like it. And I collect what I like. And I drink what I like. And I eat what I like, Will. I do. What's up guys and welcome to this haul. This is a toy haul, G.I. Joe classified, Transformers, mostly studio series. I'm actually filming two videos back to back. This one's all G.I. Joe and Transformers. The next one, as I look at it over here, Marvel Legends, Motu Origins, NECA Turtles, Funko, Pop, what? Star Wars Black Series, that's the next video. Again, this one, G.I. Joe Classified, a frick ton of Transformers. I got a mini little leaning tower of Transformers down here. But we're gonna start with the comic books because I just have five comic books here. And whoa, look at this cover. Holy moly, right there. Madeline Pryor, the Goblin Queen, Crazy Redhead, Hellions number three, right there. Madeline Pryor! Holy smokes! Next one, uh, I'm not sure what's going on on this cover. It looks like a bunch of birds or bats. Probably bats. Batman's attacking Wolverine because this is Wolverine number five. Still reading Wolverine. Still like four issues, three issues back. Not really sure what's going on. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a little Wolverine getting decimated by a frick ton of bats right there. Last Marvel issue you're gonna see in this little mini comic book haul is uh, X-Men, Empire. Not sure what's going on there, but there's Magneto in his white outfit. They're doing a uh, Mezco version of this Magneto in the white outfit. Looks amazing. But uh, there you go, X-Men number 11. I'm a few issues back on that. I've been reading a lot of uh, Batman and Guardians of the Galaxy recently, so I'm catching up on those. I'm falling behind on this other stuff, including this one right here, which is Batman Detective Comics. I'm behind on that one. Cornered by Killer Croc, right there. Peter Tomasi is the writer. Kenneth Rockefort, I like his art. And then last comic you're gonna see in this haul, Batman, which I am reading, number 98, there's Punchline. She's a cool character. That's a cool cover. That's freaking awesome. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Bam! One more time. Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor, Hellions. Bam! There's the comics, guys. I'm gonna start with the uh, Transformers. What I'm gonna do with this video specifically is I'm gonna show you the haul, and then I'm gonna take a couple of these guys out of box, and then I'm gonna stick them in my cabinet, and then I'm gonna show you what I got going on display-wise just for like the Joes, the classifieds, because I know a lot of you guys are collecting classifieds, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on there, and then a few Transformers I'm gonna take out of box. I'm not gonna take them all out of box, because I got some stuff that I gotta build with the Transformers. But let me show you what I got. All right, so uh, I do need a thumbnail. That was your thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. And I have a, a lot of studio series Transformers here, despite the fact that people dislike the Bay movies, I kind of like them. I kind of like them. They're like a guilty pleasure. I like a lot of the action scenes in the movies. The plots, the acting, eh. So let's start with the smaller guys first. This guy, because I found him at Target, and he is a wrecker, and he is a lead foot, and he's a Target exclusive. Gee, I wonder why he's a Target exclusive. Maybe it's because he has a giant freaking Target emblem logo on his chesticles. Right there, there's Leadfoot. 
one of the wreckers. So there you go, one down, two to go. I will not be taking him out of package because quite honestly, I don't have any room for him right now. My Autobots are just kind of hanging out uh, in my closet here because I don't have any shelf space for them. That's a ongoing issue that I've got going on right now is uh, lack of shelf space. And now two of three, I got Roadbuster. So second wrecker. We're talking about Transformers Dark of the Moon, the third movie. And uh, one of my favorite ones, I like Dark of the Moon. And I like the Wreckers. And I still need good old Top Spin. So Top Spin will complete my Wreckers for me. But there you go, there's Roadbuster and Leadfoot, two of three of the Wreckers. Moving on, I got this one at Dallas Vintage Toys. I saw him on the shelf and uh, haven't seen him in a while. So I picked him up. His name is Jazz. This is uh, poor little Jazz from the first Transformers movie. I'm not even gonna say spoiler alert because it's it's from, uh, what, 2008? He got ripped in half. I liked him when he was alive. <laughs> but uh, there you go, there's Jazz. Little Pontiac Solstice. Fun fact, I almost bought this car. I almost got with that car back in 2000 something. I almost had that car, but I got a uh, Chrysler Crossfire instead. I had the Crossfire for several years. I liked that little car, but um, had to get something a little bigger when I met Mrs. Cincy. So I left the Crossfire behind, almost got the Solstice, but there you go. Moving on to the bigger boys, I just got these guys at Target. So I, um, I went to Target found these guys starting with this one right here this is blitzwing from the bumblebee movie really really loved blitzwing he was probably my favorite villain i know he was mostly shatter and dropkick in that movie but the blitzwing scene the blitzwing scene was freaking awesome uh, i do hope they do a sound wave and any of the other decepticons that you see on the cybertron part uh, i know it was mostly the opening part that you saw a lot of the the, the Decepticons, but I do hope we see a sound wave, shock wave. Who else did we see in that opening scene? Love that opening scene. But uh, I also loved when Bumblebee first got to Earth, he was the Jeep and he fought Blitzwing. That was a cool, cool battle. Uh, good fight scene, but there you go. I'm babbling because I like Blitzwing. I love that part, but there you go. I got him. He is awesome. Very, very nice looking. Super nice looking. I love the paint on that one. And then I needed a couple more Constructicons to finish off and build my Devastator from Revenge of the Fallen. And uh, I technically didn't need this one because I had Rampage, but technically Rampage wasn't part of Devastator. Rampage fought Bumblebee in the desert. Very, very, another cool, very, very cool fight scene. Uh, but I wanted this guy right here because he is the true leg of Devastator and his name is Skipjack. So I found him at Target, Skipjack. Basically the same exact toy as Rampage with the exception of the fact that this one is yellow. So there you go right there. And that means with Skipjack, with the acquisition of Skipjack, I only need, needed one more to finish off Devastator if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I started collecting the Constructicons from Revenge of the Fallen to build this Devastator. I think back when I went on vacation to uh, Orange Beach, Alabama, which was not that long ago. And in that time, I have since hunted high and low. I've bought stuff online. I've bought stuff from old stores I used to live near in Cincinnati. I bought stuff off Amazon. I bought one from frickin' China. But I have now, with this acquisition that I also found at Target, I found Overload. Better name Overlord, which I had been erroneously calling him uh, until I actually saw a review of the guy. I called him Overlord. That's a cool sounding name. Overload's not bad too. Overload's fine. But guess what guys? With this guy right here, I can now build Devastator. 
So freaking excited about that. I'm not gonna do it on this video, because honestly, it's probably gonna take me like a good half day to figure out how to get them all in Devastator form. I will probably do a standalone video where I actually assemble Devastator and show you how he looks and do comparison shots with uh, other Transformers and whatnot. But Overload, look at this guy. Just look at this guy. Absolutely awesome. Look at all those arms. Very, very cool. I think I'm gonna take this one out of package. I'm gonna take this one out of package. I'm gonna take Blitzwing out of package. I'm not gonna show you them in my shelf, but I at least wanna show you them out of package. My man Shane reached out to me and he had heard that I was looking for this guy for my Siege War for Cybertron shelf. I do have his Earthrise version on pre-order at Walmart, but I did want the Siege War for Cybertron version. And he reached out and he said, hey, I got this one. Are you interested? And I said, yes, I am. So I PayPal'd and he sent it to me. And once again, shout out to Shane Hawkins for selling me Soundwave. So there's the War for Cybertron, Siege War for Cybertron Soundwave. And bam, no tape inside because guess what? He also sold me good old Laserbeak who looks fantastic right there. Look at Laserbeak. They did get a little bit of screen time in the anime. And then also, good old Ravage. So there's Ravage, Soundwave, and Laserbeak. So thank you, Shane, for sending those to me and selling me these. Very, very cool. I am going to put all three of these on my Siege War for Cybertron Decepticon shelf, and I will show you that after I'm done with this haul here. But I also picked up this two-pack exclusive from Amazon. Bam! It is Dirge and Ramjet. So two of the cone heads right there. Dirge and Ramjet. I am going to take these guys out. I'm going to put them on my shelf. But uh, very, very awesome right there. Dirge and Ramjet. We just need Thrust now. But very awesome. I remember the original commercials for Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet uh, when I was a kid for the original G1 Transformers. So this brings back some memories, brings back the feels. I remember wanting the cone heads when I was a kid. I never got them as a kid, but now I got them. So very, very awesome right there. Amazon exclusive. What's left guys? Oh yeah, the GI Joe classified figures. All right, so all three of these I will take out of package and I will put them on the shelf. But uh, first one is a shout out to Ed in Chicago. Ed reached out to me, he said he found this one. I was like, please, yes, I have not seen it anywhere around here. So he was able to secure this one and send it to me. It is Beachhead. And this one right here, more so than the Cobra Trooper, is the one that I was looking for to the most out of the Target exclusive Cobra Island figure. So, very, very, very awesome. I'm a huge, huge fan of Beachhead. He was one of my favorite figures, one of my favorite characters when I was a kid and I was collecting G.I. Joes, but just awesome right there. I cannot wait to take this out of package. Just looks absolutely awesome. Ed, thank you so much for sending that to me. I absolutely appreciate it. I got this one right here. This is another Amazon exclusive. Pre-ordered this one and uh, finally got it in, but it is the Storm Shadow, Arctic Missions Storm Shadow. I should have gotten two of them, honestly, because it looks great in package. I love the box art, and I should have gotten two, one to keep in the box, one to open. I'm gonna open this one, I'm gonna put it on the shelf, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Really excited for this one. Looks fantastic in picture, just looks absolutely fantastic. Storm Shadow, Arctic Missions, Amazon exclusive. And then last but not least, my man Rob Choi from Cali always gets stuff first out there. So, so lucky to be out in California and getting stuff first. Reached out to me, he said, dude, I found one of these. Do you want to buy it? I'm like, yes, please. So I PayPal'd him. He sent it to me. So damn excited for this. Rob Choi, you're the man for picking this one up for me. Baroness, holy moly, look at that. Baroness and the coil bike right there. Cannot wait, cannot wait to get this Baroness out of the box and get it side by side with her man Destro. Look at her. Bam. Baroness. Very, very awesome. Very, very awesome. I got some stuff to open here, guys. 
I got some Joes to open. I got a couple Transformers to open. I got some stuff to put on the shelf and I got some stuff to show you on the shelf. So let me get to that right now. Hope you enjoyed the haul and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I'm gonna open these guys up real quick. This is Overload. I keep wanting to call him Overlord. Just sounds like a cool name, Overlord. Uh, but got him open. This is my first reaction to him in person, out of box. Here we go. Bam, look at this guy. He is freaking immense. Got a bunch of these little rubber band things that I gotta cut, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is he free? No? Seven? He is free. Actually, correction, we're going with Ocho to free up this little piece right here for Devastator. Ocho rubber bands, guys. Look at this guy. I'm gonna show you guys first. You guys get first, first dibs. Oh man, this thing is awesome. He's a beast, I gotta say. A lot of the uh, the constructed guns from Revenge of the Fallen, they have a very like, and I'm sure it was what they were going for in the design stage, and when they were designing these Decepticons, they have a monstrous look. They just kind of have like monster-like qualities. This guy's got four arms. He looks like a big ass menacing four-armed monster, but there's Overload right there. Looking badass. He is probably not gonna stay in this robot mode for very long because I cannot wait to get these guys into Devastator mode and show off how big that Devastator is. But I gotta say, he does look awesome. He looks very, very cool. I like him a lot in his individual bot mode. But there you go, there's Overlord. I said it again, Overload. Overload with his little, little spike thing right there. All right, and now we're gonna open up Blitzwing real quick. See how many uh, rubber bands he is. Cut the tape. Box open. Out of box. Counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that all of them? Eight. And he is free from his plastic prison. But we still need to free up this little gun thing. And that would make it nine, nine rubber bands in Blitzwing. But he is now free and let me take a look at him. Holy crap, this is awesome. This is very, very awesome. Absolutely love the paint on this guy. So here he is, here's Blitzwing out of package. I am loving the paint on this one. I really, really like this one a lot. He looks very, very cool. But there he is, and then he comes with this little thing here. I think this is what he used to uh, rip out poor little B's frickin' vocal cords. And then he also comes with this big gun here. Uh, and I'll figure out how those go in and where those go in. Very awesome looking bot form right here, Blitzwing. Just look at the colors. Just looks awesome. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some of this stuff on the shelf. I'm gonna open up these G.I. Joe classified figures off camera, and uh, I will be right back. All right, so here is, uh, this is all Transformers right here. This is my current Transformers detail. I do have some Studio Series stuff down there, but this is all Siege and Earthrise stuff right here. I didn't get any uh, new Autobots in this haul, so I'm just gonna do like a quick pan on this shelf right here. The ones that you saw in this haul are more so on this shelf right here. So this is my updated Decepticons Siege War for Cybertron shelf. You got Jetfire and he's got his little Decepticon logo on his chest. Shockwave. You got Megs, the Netflix Megs with that beautiful silver paint job. You got Starscream, Impactor, Barricade, Reflector. What's his ass? What's his name? Spinister, something like that. You got Ravage, Laserbeak, and then of course, there's Soundwave right there. So very, very awesome right there. Again, quick panning shot because I didn't get any new Autobots from Earthrise in this video, but how great do they look? 
Skylinks. Hell yeah. The ones that I did get are on this shelf. So here you go. This is the Earthrise Decepticons. A lot of freaking Seekers. A lot of Seekers on this shelf. But let's start on the back with uh, Astro Train Double Dealer. And then you got Thundercracker, Skywarp. Love you, Skywarp. Love you, buddy. Starscream, Earthrise version. And then there you go. There's Thrust and, not Thrust, Ramjet and Dirge. We're still waiting on Thrust. But look at how beautiful those cone heads look. Freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. I took these out of the box. I got some super duper feels from the childhood of these guys right here. So happy to have these in the collection. But there's the Earthrise updated shelf. And we'll have more Earthrise stuff hopefully very soon. October, I think we're getting Soundwave. And then we're also getting Bumblebee for the Autobots here for Earthrise. I think I might be done with Siege. I don't remember if there's anything else that's coming out for Siege. But I'm very, very happy with my shelves so far right here. So, And then one more shelf to show you. This, I gotta say, I started the year thinking, am I gonna collect this G.I. Joe classified line? Am I gonna cheat on my three and three quarter inch Joes? And the answer is yes, because this right here, after collecting all of these that you see before you, this, I gotta say it's my favorite toy line of 2020, so far, so far. Things could change, but I gotta say it's my favorite toy line of the year so far. So you got Destro, Frickin' Baroness, look at how great they look. Couple of the year right there. Destro and Baroness right there. I have two Cobra Troopers. I would like to get more, but I'm happy with the two that I have. I know a lot of people don't even have that guy, so I, I don't want to be greedy. I'm happy with my two. But you got Gung Ho, Roadblock number one, Beachhead looking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beachhead right there, so happy. To have this dude, look at that. Look at that. Very, very cool. There's Duke, still one of my favorites right there. There's Scarlet. There's Roadblock number two, AKA Heavy Duty. There's Snake Eyes. And there's Storm Shadow in the back. Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Another fantastic figure. Just awesome. Bad news is that I'm running out of space on this G.I. Joe classified shelf. The good news is that I'm gonna have to soon make a Joe's shelf and a Cobra shelf, because there's more figures coming out. I got some Red Ninjas coming in. I got Cobra Commander, hopefully soon. Come on, network. Come on, send it already. But there's some G.I. Joe classifieds. Really, really happy with my display right here. But uh, quick panning shot, some Black Series. I will do a collection video. Some I do still have some Marvel Legends down there. I do still I do still collect Marvel Legends. I sold off 95% of them, but I do still love me some Marvel Legends. But there you go, guys. That's it for now. All right, guys. So that is the end of this video. Um, I'm still messing around with this Blitzwing because it looks so good. I got the little gun in his hand and his little throat stabbing hand in. Very very awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like Transformers, if you like G.I. Joe Classified, let me know in the comments if there's any uh, specific figures that you're looking for. I personally am looking for Cobra Commander. I did pre-order him through Network. Not freaking sure when that thing's ever going to ship. I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, and then I also have uh, two Red Ninjas on pre-order through GameStop. But those are the only two that I'm looking for right now. But uh, if you're looking for some uh, G.I. Joe Classifieds or Transformers, let me know in the comments which ones you're looking for. But uh, thanks again for watching this video. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, thumbs upping, hitting notifications, subscribing. I already said subscribing. <laughs> but uh, thanks, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, have fun collecting. Stay tuned for the next video, which I'm going to probably start filming as soon as I hit stop on this one. But uh, again, Marvel Legends, NECA Turtles, Star Wars Black Series. WWE Elite, I don't know if I mentioned that before, Motu Origins, lots of great stuff. And then after that, all Bezco.
an all Mezco video. Uh, so that's like the third one in the trilogy of the videos that I'm filming here. So all Mezco video. I have a bunch of, well, like four Mezcos to show you, but I'm really, really excited to show you those. But thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you soon, and adios for now.